understanding three-digit numbers lesson 9.3. Three-digit numbers have hundreds, tens, and ones. We can use models of hundreds, tens, and ones to write a three-digit number. Let's take a look at this first one. We know the big squares are hundreds, and the skinny ones are tens, and those are ones. We can count the hundreds, 100, 200, so we have two hundreds. We have one, two, three tens. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. And we can write this number, 236. Let's take a look at this one. How many hundreds do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400. There are four hundreds here. How many tens? Just one. How many ones? Five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. And the number we have is 419. We write the four, a one, and a nine. We have 419. Let's take a look at this one. We can write how many hundreds, tens, and ones we see. How many hundreds are there? We can count them 100, 200, 300. There's three hundreds. How many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. See? You can see the 4 and the 4. See that? And there's two ones. And the number we have is, do you know? 382. There you go. So take a look at this. We have 102 tens. So we have 10 tens here and two tens here, don't we? So that's 12 tens. Well, that's the same thing as 120. See? Let's try some problem solving. Emma has seven boxes of nails. And there's with 100 nails in each box. So I drew squares and put 100 on it to show that those are seven boxes with 100 nails in them. She also has four loose nails. So how many nails does she have? Well, drawing this picture can help us, can't it? So I drew these seven boxes, and I put a hundred on each one, and then I drew the four loose nails. We can count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 701, 702, 703, 704. She has 704 nails. She has seven hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no tens. And she has four ones. So we write a zero for the tens place and a four for the ones place. She has 704 nails. Okay? Now what if Emma also has three bags with ten nails in each bag? Now how many nails does she have in all? So we have 10, 20, 30. So we need to add three tens to this number. It's not going to change the hundreds, is it? So she still has a seven in the hundreds place, but now she had no tens before. Now she has three tens, and she still has the four loose ones, doesn't she? Now she has 734 nails. Now what's really important to look at is I labeled my answer nails. We looked at the important numbers, seven, and it said they each had 100. It said she also had four loose ones, didn't it? And it asked how many. So we knew we had to count these up and add them, add them together, right? Now, what was important in this one? What if we had just written 30 here? It says she has three bags with 10 nails each. What if I wrote a 30 here? 
Well, it says in all. It says, what if she also has three bags? So this isn't a new problem. It says she also has three bags. So it's adding it to that previous problem. See? And it said in all, so we knew we had to add it. And it's labeled nails. See? And be careful when you're doing word problems. You want to circle the important numbers or words if you need that extra help because it could help you. You want to make sure you label your answers nails or whatever it is that you're counting cookies raisins marbles and you want to make sure you use clue words like how many in all to know that you're going to add okay all right so that's understanding three digit numbers and we're going to continue on and we're going to talk about more three digit numbers and we're going to write them in word form and we're going to expand them to understand how big they are, okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.